In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Welcome to this celebration of the resurrection of our Lord on this Easter Sunday. Our hearts are filled with the joy of Easter. Our Lord Jesus is risen indeed. I wish you a very happy Easter to all of you. We participate in this Mass from the many different places where we are. It's a very, very difficult time for all of us that we cannot come together to the church and celebrate this celebration. But we are participating in this Mass from the many places where we are. My dear brothers and sisters, let us place before God all our prayers and intentions. Let us realize the presence of the risen Lord in our midst. We remember all of you in our prayers, especially the community of St. Martin of Tours. As we celebrate this Mass, let us call to your mind our sins and our failures. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us of our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For You alone are the Holy One, You alone are the Lord, You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. of the apostles. Peter began to speak. You know the message that spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who should were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on the cross, on a tree, but God raised him from the third day, allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses, and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people 
and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify and fought him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is a day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. O give thanks to the Lord, for he, he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, He is his steadfast love, love endures forever. This, this is the day of the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live, and renounce the deeds of the Lord. This, this is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is this the day, is the, day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and for your life, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life is revealed, then you also be revealed with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Woman, why are you weeping? 
She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, once again, wishing you all a very happy Easter. That Easter dinner falls, look forward to each year, but it won't be quite the same this year. Social distancing and being home sort of change things. If you want Easter flowers for the ladies, you will have to pick them. Much is crossed. I'm not even sure about the family gathering for Easter this year. Lots of travel restrictions this time. The fact is that Corona Queen has shaken and reshaped just about every area of our lives. And Easter is the Sunday that more people go to church than any other day of the year, not this year. Churches will be empty as we sit at home and watching online for a recording of the different celebrations. Generally, generally when we think of Easter, we think of a time of joy. This Easter, however, seems more like a time of sadness. You may be surprised to know that the first Easter started out with the sadness as well. When Mary Magdalene found the tomb empty, she assumed the words. So she screamed, they have taken away my Lord. Like Mary Magdalene, many of us are shaken and scared due to COVID-19. When we hear about the rising death toll, we worry, what is going to happen next? When is it going to end? Where is God in the midst of all of this? We worry about our lives, our loved ones, our job, our business, our studies and future. We worry about our health care and essential need workers. Yes, right now, our hearts are so disturbed and shaken. As Mary Magdalene couldn't recognize, couldn't recognize her Lord, we don't recognize each other. At least for time being, everyone should be treated as a coronavirus carrier, not a friend to mingle with. It is a scare. In this unusual and unprecedented time, it is our faith that informs our actions and transforms consent into compassion for our neighbor. 
We are part of a generation who started to think we don't need God anymore. We were at the heaven of scientific and technological advances. It is to this generation our Holy Father Pope Francis reminded on Palm Sunday this year. Today, in the tragedy of a pandemic, in the face of the many false securities that have now crumbled, in the face of so many hopes betrayed, in the sense of abandonment that weighs upon our hearts, Jesus says to each one of us, Courage, open your heart to my heart. You will feel the consolation of God who sustains you. In one of the resurrection accounts, we find the disciples on the road to Emmaus. They express their sadness to Jesus, whom they have not recognized. We were hoping that he would establish his kingdom. We were hoping that he would uh, solve our problems. In these days, many of us are probably thinking, we were hoping our churches would be open for Jesus and Easter services. We were hoping that we would be able to visit our family during Easter. We were hoping that coronavirus would be on its way out by now. Maybe all realize that in the midst of our disappointment and losses, the presence of God is still very much with us. We have a unique opportunity to be people of hope and promise. In the midst of a seemingly dark time, we are surrounded by the newness and beauty of spring, a powerful sign of the new life God promises. Our determination to pray together every day to lighten the Lord for one another through humor all speak of what we truly believe. God is with us and we continue to be His beloved people. My Easter message is that Jesus has lived and died for us. He is the source of our salvation especially in these difficult times. It's definitely a different kind of Easter. As disconcerting as it will be for millions of people to not be in church on Easter Sunday, there may be at least one bright spot in Easter being different, being different this time. To see that bright spot, you have to let your heart travel back some 2,000 years to a, to a grave with nobody in it. The massive stone that had permanently sealed the tomb had been rolled aside like a paperweight. The, cloth, the body had been tightly wrapped in, are still there, but the man is gone. When three friends arrive at sunrise to pay their respect, the man they saw die a brutal death on a cross three days before is nowhere to be seen. But there are angels who ask a daring question. Why do you see the living among the dead? Why do you see the living among the dead? Then the announcement that would ultimately rob the city, rob an empire, rob the world. He is not here. He is risen. Happy Easter to you all.
My dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with Him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promise of holy baptism, by which, once we renounce to Satan and his works, and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. So now, I ask you, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the due of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and the earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may, all, may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Christ is risen indeed, filled with joy at this good news. Let us bring our prayer before the risen Lord. For the Holy Father and the whole Church in every corner of the world, as we celebrate with you that Christ our Lord is risen from the dead, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray also for all those who suffer the consequences of the current pandemic that God the Father may grant help to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to the families, and salvation to all the victims who have died. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. During this time of pandemic, we pray for peace and healing of the risen Lord, that it might be known in every household, city, and nation in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For world leaders that they may resist the temptation of power and instead serve the needs of their people in this time of tribulation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who work to serve or perish, that they may always relish the riches that come from sharing the love of God with others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the homeless, those without food and employment, sustain them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the needs of our parishioners, including those written in our book of petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who are ill, including those in our own families and our friends, may they experience the merciful and healing grace of the risen Lord through the care, prayers, and concerns of family members and friends. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who have died recently, including our own family and friends who have gone before us and whom we now remember. May they all rest in peace and in the presence of our risen Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. This Mass is being offered for the repose of the souls of Andy Dalai, Ed and Anna Sawyer, Anthony Mendes. King Kuei Long, Richard and Mary Curley, Atris, Richard and Mrs. Richard, Vincent Figuera, and all souls in purgatory. For these intentions we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Including our own first intentions, let's ask our Lady to see for us as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst men, 
And this is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. God of light, listen to the prayers of your Israel people. Gather to celebrate the death and resurrection of your Son. Be present to all who are in need. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, the risen one, our life and our salvation, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Bless I am God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hand. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless I am God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual spring. Blessed be God forever. Wash me all of my iniquity and cleanse me away from my sin. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The, the Lord accepts the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His creatures. We accept and with the Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and arranged. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, we above all to load you yet more gloriously when, our, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people, excels in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic force sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and the earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are Indeed, holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness, made holy, therefore, these gifts be pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, 
all of you and Benjamin, for this is the chance of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be fathered for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the child of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Cardinal, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Martin, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be for a to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who was in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to do temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Your apostle, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. That is peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only to the world and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
as we join in this uh, Holy Mass spiritually and receive Holy Communion spiritually, we pray this prayer together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, once again wishing you all a very happy Easter. My prayer today is may the, may the risen Lord come to our hearts and minds and bless you abundantly. During the many celebrations of the Holy Week from Palm Sunday to Easter Sunday, the church becomes so alive. Palm Sunday, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Easter Vigil, and Easter Sunday celebrations are very special to our heart, but not this year. The church doors are locked, and the solemn uh, celebrations are cancelled, and I miss you all. We miss each other. The church had gone through many dark moments in history. The whole world has gone through dark times. But our faith is so much alive. Our church doors are closed. Our celebrations are cancelled. But our hearts and minds are open. Our home is open. We celebrate our faith in our lives, different ways. My dear brothers and sisters, our thoughts and prayers are always with you. We remember all of you when we celebrate Holy Mass in this altar. And I have to say uh, this to all of you. We are so blessed in this parish, St. Martin Truth. Thank you so much for your concern, your kindness, your generosity, especially uh, this difficult uh, time of pandemic. Thank you so much for your emails, your phone calls, your prayers, and your thoughts. We are so much overwhelmed by the love and support you show to each one of us. On behalf of Father Jos, Deacon Miguel, and myself, I wish you a very happy Easter. God bless you abundantly during this Easter day and Easter celebrations. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that Renewed by the past and misery, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in His compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may, may He who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten Son, and tow you with the price of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the, the Lord's Passion have drawn to a cross, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with the, with the Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts 
that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, Hail our life, our sweetness, and our fault. To thee do we cry, to our banished children of Eve. To thee do we sing the first songs, mourning and weeping in the valley of tears. Tell them, most gracious Advocate, write us a towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clever, O loving, O sweet Lord Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, who made worthy the promise of Christ. 